Have you ever been the favorite person of someone with borderline personality disorder? If so, you might be familiar with the emotional roller coaster that such a relationship often entails. Imagine being on a roller coaster that never stops, with passionate highs that take your breath away, followed by devastating lows that leave you feeling crushed. That's what it's like being the favorite person of someone with borderline personality disorder, or BPD. This intensity and instability stem from the person with BPD's deep-seated fear of abandonment, which fuels their emotional fluctuations. One moment, you might be the center of their universe, the person who can do no wrong. The next, you might find yourself on the receiving end of their wrath, blamed for problems you didn't cause. These sudden shifts can be disorienting, leaving you walking on eggshells, uncertain of what might trigger the next emotional storm. In their desperate attempts to manage their anxieties, the person with BPD may resort to emotional manipulation. Guilt tripping, blame, even emotional blackmail might become part of your daily interactions. It's a way for them to keep you close, to ensure you won't abandon them, but it can leave you feeling trapped, manipulated, and emotionally drained. And then there's the constant need for reassurance. You might find yourself spending hours reassuring them of your affection, your loyalty, your commitment. It's as if you're their emotional lifeboat in the stormy sea of their insecurities. But it's not a one-off thing. It's a relentless need for validation and attention that can leave you feeling as if you're responsible for their emotional well-being. This emotional roller coaster can be both exhilarating and exhausting. It can make you feel loved and needed one moment and overwhelmed and drained the next. It's a complex dynamic that brings with it unique challenges. Being on this emotional roller coaster can be taxing, but understanding these dynamics can be the first step towards navigating the challenges. It's important to remember that you are not alone and there are resources available to help you navigate this complex relationship. When you're the favorite person of someone with BPD, boundaries can often become blurred and enmeshment can occur. This is a reality many individuals find themselves grappling with as the intensity of the relationship can often lead to a loss of personal identity. What does this look like? Imagine your life and needs becoming so intertwined with the person with BPDs that you start neglecting your own needs and priorities. It's like you're living two lives, yours and theirs, but theirs is calling the shots. You might find yourself constantly walking on eggshells, fearful of triggering an emotional outburst, or the person with BPD's profound fear of abandonment. This apprehension might even lead you to avoid social situations, causing you to miss out on your own social connections. It's a form of social isolation that can make your world feel smaller and smaller as you constantly prioritize the person with BPD's needs over your own. And then there's the risk of codependency. As you provide emotional and practical support, you might inadvertently reinforce an unhealthy dependence, hindering the person with BPD's journey towards self-reliance. It's a complex dynamic where you might feel needed and valued one moment and overwhelmed and trapped the next. But it's important to remember that this isn't about assigning blame. It's about understanding the dynamics at play and recognizing how they can impact you. Being the favorite person of someone with BPD can be a profound and fulfilling experience, but it also comes with its unique set of challenges. Blurred boundaries and enmeshment can be difficult to navigate, but awareness is the first step towards change. Recognizing these patterns can help you start to establish healthier boundaries and prioritize your own needs. It's not about distancing yourself from the person with BPD, but about finding a balance that allows both of you to maintain your individuality and well-being. Recognizing these blurred boundaries and enmeshment is crucial in maintaining your own well-being in such a relationship. Remember, it's not just about being there for them, but also about being there for yourself. The unique challenges of being a favorite person can have significant impacts on your mental and physical health. In the wake of the emotional roller coaster and blurred boundaries that come with this role, stress and anxiety often follow. The unpredictability of the relationship and the emotional weight it carries can stir feelings of unease, worry and tension, potentially leading to panic attacks or even depression. This constant state of high alert can wreak havoc on your mental well-being, leaving you feeling emotionally drained and mentally exhausted. And then there's the burnout. The relentless emotional demands coupled with the lack of reciprocity can leave you depleted. It's like you've been running a marathon without a finish line in sight, your energy reserves are tapped, your motivation dwindles, 
and you may find yourself feeling detached, cynical, or even resentful. This emotional and psychological exhaustion can deeply impact your overall well-being. But the effects don't stop at the mental level. This emotional turmoil can manifest in physical symptoms too. Chronic stress can lead to headaches, fatigue, and sleep disturbances. You may notice changes in your appetite or experience unexplained aches and pains. In some cases, sustained stress may even weaken your immune system, making you more susceptible to illnesses. Paying attention to these impacts on your health is vital in understanding the toll that such a relationship can take on you. Remember your health matters, it's not just about surviving this journey, but thriving in it too. Navigating the challenges of being a favorite person in a BPD relationship can be daunting, but there are steps you can take to manage these difficulties. Let's talk about a few of them. Firstly, setting healthy boundaries is crucial. It's essential to establish clear boundaries and prioritize your own needs and well-being. When the lines get blurred, it's okay to say no. Your well-being is as important as the person with BPDs. Prioritize self-care, even if it feels difficult. Open communication is another key aspect. Honest and open dialogue with the person with BPD could help understand their needs and navigate any challenges that might arise. It's essential to voice your feelings and concerns while also being receptive to their perspective. Seeking support is another significant step. A therapist or counselor can provide you with tools and strategies to manage the emotional burden and maintain healthy boundaries. You don't have to bear this alone and professional help can be invaluable in such situations. Educating yourself about BPD is also important. Understanding the underlying reasons for their behavior can foster empathy and provide a clearer picture of what they're going through. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it can be a powerful tool for navigating your relationship. Lastly, prioritize your own well-being. Remember, you cannot fix or cure someone with BPD. It's essential to prioritize your health and don't hesitate to seek support if the relationship becomes detrimental to your well-being. Remember, you are not alone in this journey and there are resources available to help you navigate this complex relationship.